Hello everyone, me Farmas here, and today we have a video on quite possibly the most detailed Bremer models kit to this date, or at least in my opinion anyway. So if you haven't already guessed, it's the Sumo Trio 3. Uh, this one does have a couple of extras which we'll go into in a moment. But uh, it's a little bit different than the standard kit, but not much different, so you should be able to get a good idea of what the kit looks like and if you would like to build one yourself. And also a couple of tips along the way and uh, just a all around showcase of the model so you can use it as a guide or have an idea if you want to purchase one yourself. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So coming to the side, you can see plenty of detail. You have to paint every bolt head, nut, things like that. Everything has to be painted by hand afterwards, which isn't a problem. I recommend a very small brush and just take your time. You can see that I've added a air seeder to this Sumo. So all I've done is put a bar across just in front of the packer, drilled holes in it evenly, and then put the pipes in. Coming out the back of the cedar. The cedar's from uh, Dave Twos, also known as Britain's Toy Farm, if you're interested. Also to the rear, you've got your packer. At the moment, it is quite a shiny finish, but I am very tempted to paint the packer and the legs and also sort of weather them up a bit like the Simba uh, Unipress, if you remember that. But just sort of shine them up silver and then sort of lightly rust them so that it's been used but then sat for a couple of weeks, but not heavily rusted. So if you think that's a good idea, let me know, or if you think we should leave it as it is, also let me know down in the comments. But you can see all your U-bolts or bolts that would hold the scraper on, individual scrapers if the camera will focus you got to paint all them silver yourself scraper silver but it's just those little details that add up and sort of finish the model off one thing i'd also like to do is add the lights just above the either sumo decal on the rear of the frame it's also just a little thing to finish it off your two stands painted silver They, uh, they don't function, but it's a nice thing just to show. One thing I'd say as a tip is cut down your pins plenty, but not too much so it falls out. But this sticker, the pin will always push the sticker off, if not. So that's one thing I'd uh, recommend you check and make sure it's maybe slightly into the frame, sunk back a little bit. Otherwise that sticker won't go on correctly. A little bit like mine, which... I'll uh, trim that back and try again on that. If we look underneath, you can see your discs and your legs. So that's what I was meaning about shining them up and making them look a little bit used. Just sort of gives it a little bit more realism. You also have to add warning stickers on every leg. And... Uh, paint the rams and you can also choose between three point for your wiking linkages or sort of a adapter that would fit maybe britain's universal obvious things like that but if you're going for realism or the most accurate to the model i'd go for the realistic three point but then if you haven't got anything that fits a wiking linkage then do what suits you but uh i think adding the air cedar definitely finishes it off nicely just a nice little finishing touch makes it a little bit different from the rest also which i quite like it's quite unique but it's also a thing you see quite a lot in the uk and uh, i won't be bad for drilling rate things like that so uh let me know what you think to the air cedar i was going to do it removable but at the end of the day, even if people don't use it, it always stays on the 
Sumo. There's no point in taking it on off all the time. So yeah guys, just a quick one on the Sumo. Let me know what you think to the Sumo, if you have one to build or not. I'd also recommend painting everything before gluing the discs onto the actual frame. As you've got more space to get in and paint. You'll see what I mean when you do it. And uh, yeah, let me know if you think we should weather it or leave it as it is. Let me know if you're going to be building a Sumo or if this video has tempted you into building one. And uh, also let me know what you think to the new channel logo and there should be a bit of a different um, watermark in the bottom of the corner. I don't know if that's fully functioning yet but we're always trying to improve the channel. I'd just like to say thank you to all the other subscribers, the new subscribers and the likes and the shares. Let's see if we can get to 3,000 subscribers for the end of the year. And uh, there will be on the farms returning. We'll be starting a new series once the new diorama is finished. If you want a sneak peek and you made it this far, this is all you'll get to see. But uh, if you made it that far, let me know down in the comments what you think. And if you're uh, looking forward to seeing the new dioramas and uh, the new series. They're not finished yet, but they'll hopefully be finished in next couple of weeks. So the Honor fans will be back. But in the meantime, let me know what sort of reviews you want to see. We'll be doing a build series on Hubar's uh, Kong Slide uh, Trail Forager. So stay tuned for that. Just getting a few little bits finished up. Ready to do that series. And there'll be probably three parts on that. So stay tuned for that coming out in the next couple of weeks. But uh, for now, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Turn notifications to know exactly the video. But for now, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.